nothing can be added to or taken away from the universal consciousness. It begins like that. It cannot be invoked or worshipped with flowers and leaves. Meditations and mantras cannot reach it. How could it be worshipped as Shiva? For in it there are neither distinctions nor unity. In the one there is neither bondage nor salvation, neither purity nor impurity. From union and separation the one is free. That space-like truth, I am that. As in reality, I am nirvana. Thoughts as to the reality or unreality of the world do not trouble me at all. Eternally free from the stain of ignorance as I am, knowledge or illusion never had birth in me. How can I say whether I am bound or free? Neither sin nor virtue ever existed in me. By nature, I am Nirvana itself. Neither the worshipper nor the worshipped am I. No instructions and no rituals are there for me. Knowledge also, I am not this. By nature, I am Nirvana. Taintless Nirvana am I. I am neither the comprehender nor the comprehended. Neither the cause nor the effect exist in me. Neither am I a body nor am I bodiless. The buddhi, and buddhi means the higher mind, which uh, include the uh, discriminative faculty and uh, intuitive reasoning. So you can call it intellect if you want. He says, neither am I a body nor am I bodiless. The buddhi, the mind and the senses are not mine. How can I talk of attachment or detachment since I am the taintless nirvana? In me exists not birth, nor death, nor purity, or impurity, poison, or the water of immortality. Verily, I am free even from the taint of nirvana itself. I cannot speak of the third or fourth. Neither a fool nor a pundit am I, neither silent nor of many words. How can I speak of reasoning or argument, since I am free even from the taint of nirvana itself? Giving up all meditations, all good and evil karma, drinking the water of immortality, the heroes know that I, from the stain of nirvana, I am free. No ritualist injunction is binding on me. Mind, the seat of anxieties, does not exist in me. Far, far from me also is egotism, space-like, immortality-giving knowledge, absolute. I am that. I cannot say whether the world is nothingness or if it is partly real or partly unreal, or if, like a flowing river, though ever-changing, it is in fact real or as a whole, space-like, immortality-giving knowledge absolute, I am that.